Hello and welcome. I'm Green Bay 347 and we're here in my 1.10 survival let's play world and uh, we've got some big plans for this episode. Uh, first off we're gonna take a look at our slime farm that we built last time. So let's run in here and see if we've got anything. Nobody in here right now. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> okay so that's pretty great. I was expecting maybe like a stack, maybe two. Um, I've been doing some AFKing, but looks like we must have gotten some big slimes in here, but we got pretty lucky, so that's great. Um, so let me see if I can get out of here. <laughs> now we're going to head up to the village, because there have been some strange things going on. Uh, I lost some villagers, you know, in either zombie attacks, or I'm not really sure how they died, but a lot of them died, so we only had a few left. But then today, when I got on... I found a couple new guys just hanging out, and I decided that I think I'm going to take this as a sign that I need to protect my villagers. So I'm going to be moving them, all of them, into one place to protect them. So let me see if I can find new guy. This is one, a farmer, so that's pretty great. And then I think there's a baby. Yeah, there's a little baby over here, so that's pretty cool. Um, now I'm going to be moving them over into this house right here. Now I've already got one guy kind of over here to kind of show what I'm going to do, but they're a lot more difficult to move than I uh, predicted. So let me grab, hopefully I have a stair in here somewhere. Do I have any stairs? I have two stairs. So let me do this and I'm going to show you the troubles I've been having. Hopefully this guy doesn't bolt as soon as I open the door. But okay, so I'm going to place don't you dare. Don't you. He's going to run, isn't he? He's probably already gone. Okay, so let's open this door. Where did he go? He is gone. Where did he go? He just ran off. Where, <laughs> where did he go? You know, this is why I hate villagers. I really do. Oh, there you are. Come on. You're getting in there because I've had to deal with this guy so much. Let me go ahead and get my slabs ready and I'll show you how I'm gonna station these guys position them in here this is a lot more difficult I wish I wonder can you lead them with leads because now that I have some slime I can make some leads and try and bring them over here okay now I'm gonna push him into here come on just just go in the house man that's all you have to do just go in. Okay. Just go in the house. Why is this so difficult? Now we're just going to have to stare down. Well, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in here so they can't get out, and I'm going to trade with them. And they'll be safe inside this place if they ever decide to move. Half of mine to just hit them. Let's see here. I think if I can push him... I really just want to push him off this block because he's not wanting to move. Maybe let's see, can I move this? Is he going to run? Come on, man, just run. You're free. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not going well at all. Maybe I just need to, like, cut a hole in the roof and bring them in that way. I Actually, that might be exactly the plan. Just push me. Oh, you. Okay. And nighttime is falling too. You know what? We're going to get him in the morning. Okay, let's sleep, hurry before anything can spawn here and kill all of our friends. This is going to work. It has to. We have to get these guys in there. Because otherwise they're going to die. Come on. You're coming with me. Go. Go. Okay, now let's just try and get the dropping place ready. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. This should be enough room for them to fall in there. Plenty of room. Let's block off this way right here. Okay, I'm going to try and get some of these guys in there. Um, and I'll be right back as soon as I get one in.
So at this moment, we've got two guys in here, and we're going to try and get them out. Uh, as soon as I broke this guy's boat, he ran straight for the corner. I don't know what these guys' problems is. No, no, no. Problems are, I suppose, not is. Okay, let's see here. If I go like this, like that, I'm trying to think if I can stop these guys from getting out the door. I can break that. No, I can't even place because they're trying so hard to get out of here that I can't even place blocks to stop them from doing so. This is so frustrating. Yeah, I cannot place blocks to keep them from getting out. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Oh, here we go. This guy's... No, 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 no. Back to the drawing board. So... I decided that I'm going to use these rails. I've got most of the villagers in there now. I just have... Oh my goodness. He's got one more time to do this. And I'm done with him. Let's see, let me throw... Let me start my inventory. The boats, they didn't work out so well. So, we're doing this. And this is going to work. I know it is. Because I believe in it. I believe in myself. Come on. Just gotta get this guy in here. Okay. Let me try and block off all this stuff. Hold on, let me throw my. Whew. Okay. Now, how to go about this here? Because if he pops out, I swear, I'm gonna lose my mind. Now, I used water streams. So have to get these guys in here because they just were not cooperating for anything. I have half mind to just leave this guy in here. Oh, is he gonna pop out? Ah, oh, of course he popped out. Okay, which means we need to get him back in there somehow. But he's gonna be running around up here, isn't he? So let's see, let's grab our water and try and get this guy in there. No, sir. Please don't. Just go where you're supposed to go, please, for once. Please. Just do what you're supposed to do. Just go right there. Come on. Okay, so see, we've got him here. We need to go up on top first. Actually, we can go like this. Boom, boom. Okay. Now you just need to go pick up this water. Okay, we've almost got him in. We just need to place a block right there. Actually, I'm going to go up here so I don't mess this up. And then we need a block right there. And he's in. And this is our Silk Touch guy. So this is actually a uh, <laughs> our little baby librarian we had. He grew up. So this is lure one guy. Got him in there. There's our butcher. Uh, leather worker was around here somewhere. I don't know where these guys are coming from. There's our toolsmith that we traded with before. This is Silk Touch guy. Well, who's this? Also Silk. Touch guy, what? Why are there two villagers with silk touch? I don't, I don't know. I don't have the time to figure it out. I don't have the mental capacity. Oh, this guy has infinity. That's the big, cool thing. So, our mending villager is over there, safe and sound. We could put him in here, or we could just move on to our next project. I'll probably get him here eventually. But um, I'm going to cut and come back to what we have up next on the agenda. I'll be right back. <sighs> well, just was heading down to the slime farm and I fell and died. So let's, oh no, not again. Let's come in here and grab our stuff. <sighs> this is just the kind of day that I'm having, you know? 
it's really just going like this. Okay, let's put on our armor. <sighs> okay, so before we get started on our sugarcane farm, I'm going to take care of some important business to avoid dying how I did again. So we're going to run over here to this swamp real quick, and we are going to grab some vines. And then we're going to use those and put them at the bottom of our... Um, uh, wow, my brain is not working. We're going to put them uh, down at that hole that we fell and died at the bottom of a second ago so that we can get down a lot quicker. As soon as I get over here, hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. Let's go ahead and grab some lily pads because you can always use more lily pads. And I've already made a couple buttons. So, this is a trick that actually I haven't tried doing in like at the bottom of my things before, but um, it was in like uh, some Enderman farm that I used to use. So we're going to do that. Actually, I need some leaves too for this, don't I? Yeah, matter of fact, I do need leaves very badly because we're going to be using leaves in our sugarcane farm. Vines. Cool. So I'm going to get some more of this stuff off camera and I'll be back. So kind of forgot how much terraforming I needed to do because I'm actually going to be building a giant thingy here. And uh, here's where our sugarcane farm is going to go, so which means this tree is going to have to go down because all this is going to be hoppers, glass. Basically, the farm is going to be in this area here. So we need to block this place off or at least, you know, terraform it, make it look good, which is going to be a bit of a challenge considering it's pretty much just dirt over here. But uh, I'm going to get to work uh, and I'll check in once I've gotten this done. No need for a bunch of progress progress updates on filling in dirt. So I'm just placing in some more dirt blocks here. <laughs> Use just about every bit of dirt that I had on this baby here. And well, we've got the size mapped out of what we're going to make. So it's pretty big. Um, we're going to have to end up cutting down this tree, which kind of makes me sad because it's so beautimous. But down it has to go. Oh, well. But uh, yeah. On a brighter note, at least we have mapped out here where our sugarcane farm is going to go. Um, I'm not going to build it probably all on camera, just because I do have a tutorial for it that's out that you can feel free to check out if you'd like. <laughs> I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to do the floor out of dark oak or birch. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to do dark oak. So I'm going to do the flooring in here. I'm going to go ahead and make the sugarcane farm, or at least get started on it before I check in again, because this episode is getting a little lengthy and there's a lot of progress updates. So I'm going to go ahead and get down to work as I watch the sunset, because it's so beautiful. Let's go ahead, watch the cows, watch the sunset. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, nice night's sleep. Let's come out here and take a look. Oh boy. So, I've done quite a bit of work over here. Uh, I've got all the glass in for the most part. At least I've got the front done. Wow, my mouse is acting crazy right now. But, uh, this is technically functioning at the moment. Uh, let's see how long till this fire's off again. Oh, it's about two right now. Oh, <laughs> wrong side. Uh, but yeah, so it is functional at the moment. I still have a lot of decorating to do. I've kind of started to work out a bit of a design here. Uh, basically what I'm doing is just adding in the dark oak wood floor right now. And I think this is going to be the size of it. Now I don't know that I want to keep all this right here because there's really no point in it. So what I might do is actually bring swap that in my inventory bring all this in a little bit because we don't necessarily need it so let's go boom 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 is that gonna work that might work actually 
And then we still have one behind, so we can go pow, 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 pow. Pow. Cool. And let's put one here. I think that'll actually work. Now I see. Replicate on the other side, so. After this, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know why this is built up. Oh, yeah, because I wanted to hide the ugliness. But uh, I'm going to do some more work on this off camera. Um, but I think, oh, Oh, hello. <laughs> Got bounced there. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, hopefully, I'm going to make this look all pretty off camera. If you're wondering why this looks connected, it's because I'm using Optifine and I have the connected glass textures on. But uh, yeah, so we're going to build up some sugar cane here. Uh, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. This has been Green Bay 347 signing off here. And I'll see ya.